What's up, guys? So today we're doing episode 16 of Raiding Your Guys' Jeeps, where you guys send in your Jeeps, and we just kind of show them off, see what everyone's driving, and then just kind of give some of my opinions on them, and just kind of, you know, overall, just kind of show them off. So if you guys want to send in your Jeep, uh, shoot me an email at info.kyleswt at gmail.com, and then in the subject, uh, put Rate My Jeep, that way I know it's for, uh, for the video. So let's get started. We got Zachary here. Hey, Kyle, I really enjoy your videos. Thank you, sir. I'll keep up the great work. I've had a blast working on my Jeep and fur riding in Florida. Very nice. I love Florida. Uh, my Jeep is an O2 TJ with a 4 liter 5 speed. Very nice. It's got a 2 inch lift. Play bar disconnects, 33s, 373 gears with a limited slip. That's nice. Uh, Smitty belt winch and rock sliders. 50 inch single roll light bar and 18 inch on the hood. Um, got some different LED headlamps. Uh, rock lights, Sony radio, and kicker speakers. A lot has been done to the Jeep since I bought it a year ago. In the future, I plan on doing a 4-inch long arm suspension, Dana 44 front, 456 gears with an e-locker, and also 35 MTs as well. My Instagram is the blue, the blee, bleep project. All right, very cool. So definitely check them out. Let's take a look here. Very nice. Florida looks beautiful. I love the color. All right, so this is what you, what you got it with or when you got it stock, very nice. Oh yeah, much better. Nicely done. Yeah, that looks really nice, dude. So love the the tires. Those are really cool tires, actually. I like those a lot. Ma are those Maxxis tires? Yeah, very cool. Um, love that you swapped out the fenders, uh, or the flares, so they aren't so faded. Either you restore them or uh, bought new ones. I like that. You took the side steps off, nice work on that. Uh, love how you took the corner cap off on the bumper. That looks great. Those LEDs look fantastic. The light bars look really cool as well. Yeah, black a black TJ looks great. So things I would change on your Jeep. Um, kind of like we tell a lot of people, black out these chrome uh, rings on the headlight surrounds. Paint those black. Oh, I like your rock guard too. That looks cool. Yeah, very nice. I like that as well. So wheels, tires look great. Um, literally the only thing I would change is black those trim rings out and, uh, you'll be good to go, but sweet looking Jeep, man. Very cool. Thanks for sending it in. Sakir Momen, Miman, sorry, butchered your name. Heck, hello, your videos. Thank you, sir. Here's my 2.5 liter five speed. Love to hear your thoughts. Let's take a look. Great color to start out with red. Very nice. Very cool. I like it. Wheels and tires look great. Um, you already blacked out those trim rings around the headlights. That looks awesome. I'd pull off those side steps and then uh, paint the wheels black. And uh, you're gonna do. You already pulled those corner caps off the bumper. I think if you're gonna keep a stock TJ bumper, definitely just pull those off. It makes it look a lot better. Uh, LED headlamps are cool, but uh, yeah, looks good. Yeah, just I would I would paint the wheels black and then take off your side step, and uh, you're good to go. But uh, thanks for sending me your Jeep, dude. All right, we got Bradley here. 2002 Sahara with a two and a half inch lift, 33s. I have halo headlights and want to get a fishbone front bumper. Take a look. Oh, nice, the Sahara. Very cool. And it's green with the tan. That's probably my favorite color combo. Yeah, looks really nice. Very cool. So things I would change. Um, I think you said you have uh, LED headlamps. That looks good. That's a good change for sure. I would black out those trim rings as well and then pull off that side step. But yeah, I, I just love the Sahara interior. That looks so cool. Like right here with the tan and then the green and then the tan uh, roll bar pads. That looks super cool. But yeah, I love your wheels and tires too. Steel wheels look great on the TJ. But uh, yeah, so I would just, I would keep that set up and the tires look like... Uh, KO2s, I think. That's what it looks like. Those are a great looking tire. Um, I'm not sure what size those are, but those are, uh, let's see, did you see? 33s. Yeah, that looks really nice. So, very cool. Yeah, so I would just uh, paint those trim rings and pull off the side steps. That's pretty much all I would do to your Jeep, but other than that, it looks really nice. So, thanks for sending it in, bro. All right, we got John here. Hi, Kyle. First of all, I hope you're doing well with your hands. Are Thank you, sir. Yep, they're getting uh, much better. They're still kind of tender, but uh, we're getting there. So thank you, sir. Uh, my name is John from the Netherlands. Very cool. Here's my 014 liter. 
It has a two inch old man emu suspension lift. Curry anti rock. Love it. Very cool. 33s. Uh, it looks like we got a winch on there. Um, waterproof switch panel from a bolt shop. Very cool. Vacuum uh, nightlight gauge. LED headlamps. Nice. All right. And some rugged ridge parts. Very cool. And a hard top. Probably forgot some things. No problem. Things to do. Slip yoke eliminator. Tom Woods drive shaft. One and a half inch body lift to clear 35s. Diesel swap out of a Volvo. Very cool. Let's take a gander. Oh, very nice. Love the fenders, the flares. Those look really cool. Love the tires. Wheels and tires look fantastic. This is cool too. I've always liked this look. I don't know. It's like a little mini pickup. I've always liked that look with the that type of top. But silver looks great. Oh, very cool. Look at all those switches. That is cool. That's really neat. Nice iP a little uh, tablet mount. That's really cool as well. And it's a manual. Very cool. Look at those taillights. That's kind of different too. Love your tire carrier setup. Front bumper looks really neat. I love the amber uh, fog lights. Those are really cool. Little LEDs up front. Four liter. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Very cool. So things that would change, just black those trim rings out for sure. That would uh, really look good. Um, and then I would pull off these diamond plating things on the corners. I think it would look just better with just your uh, just the paint color. Um, I like your rock guards though. They're kind of nice and integrated. That looks really cool. Your tire carrier setup is really nice. I like that a lot. It's almost very similar to mine. Just kind of like a minimalist rear bumper. I like that a lot. Your wheels and tires are fantastic. And I love the white letters. That really makes it look kind of extra sporty. That looks great. Uh, and then I would pull off your side steps. Um, just, oh yeah, you already did. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, you got the, the rock guard. That looks really cool. But uh, I'm not a huge fan of the, the this piece that's on the hood here. Not a huge fan of the way that looks. I think it would look better without, but you're probably trying to stop rock chips. But I would take the rock chips and just paint them up if it, if, uh, you know, if it gets shipped up. But other than that, the Jeep looks really nice. And I actually, I really dig the interior, what you did here. That's really cool. But uh, yeah, overall, the Jeep looks really good. So just a couple things I would change. But um, other than that, the Jeep looks really, really cool. Really nicely done. So those, I don't think I've ever seen those uh, those fenders before. Those look really cool. But uh, thank you, John, for sending in your Jeep. All right, we got Aaron here. Hey, Kyle, love the videos, man. Here's my 2015 JK with 81,000 miles. Has a three and a half rough country lift, 35s. Procom Series 40 wheels. EAG front bumper, rough country dual steering stabilizer. Front uh, plan to upgrade to a spinny belt. Uh, XRC fenders, Flowmaster exhaust, and possibly best top track top. Very cool. Appreciate the video, man. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. Take a gander. We don't see too many JKs. Very nice. It's a two door. I love it. Love those taillights. My buddy did that when he had a JK. Those taillights are awesome. Oh yeah, yours is the newer interior JK. I like the steering wheels on the newer JKs. But uh, very nice. Wheels and tires look great. I like the tires a lot. Um, black looks great. Oh, awesome front bumper. That is really cool. I like that a lot. That looks really nice. Very cool. So things I would change, I'm, I've am i told a lot of people I just don't like side steps, uh, so I'd pull those side steps off. Um, but other than that, you, the, getting a different front bumper really helps the JKs a lot. And I love how it's kind of a stubby bumper. That looks really nice. And you already got LEDs already. But yeah, other than that, I don't really think I'd, I'd eventually get some type of tire carrier set up for the back that you can get a tire on back. I think that would look kind of uh, kind of cool, you know, and uh but yeah, other than that, I really like it. Black looks great on the JKs. And, and it's a two-door, so that's extra cool. So very cool. Thanks for sending me your Jeep, bro. All right, we got Dalton. Hey, Cal, I sent my Jeep in for you to rate a while back, but since then it's changed a bit. I wanted to see what you thought of it now. Hope you're doing okay with your accident. I also have an Instagram of my Jeep, that underscore ol underscore TJ. Very cool. Well, yeah, thank you. I'm doing uh, a lot better, so... Very nice. Take a look. I love the hood vent. Um, that looks really cool. I thought about doing that on my Jeep. Um, I just haven't really, uh, I don't know, committed to it yet, I guess. But I, I do like that look. Um, 
Fenders look cool. I like that. Side steps look great. You got LEDs. Very nice. Dig the front bumper. I like that a lot. Um, clean. I love the color, of course. But uh, very cool. Not the biggest fan of the wheels. Um, I like a smaller wheel, bigger tire setup. But obviously, if you like that, keep that. But uh, other than that, uh, looks good, though. I like it. But uh, yeah, very cool. Well, thanks for sending it in, brother. All right, we got Kevin here. Hi, hey Kyle. This is my 03 TJ. It has a six inch rough country lip, and I'm running 35s on it. Pretty much just has a ton of Smitty Built body armor and bumpers on it uh, with a Badlands winch. Also has a Tom Woods drive shaft with the Love Yoke Eliminator. Very cool. Even though it's been lugged around by the four cylinder engine, it gets the job done. I have a YJ with a four liter, and this four cylinder has been just as reliable. Not everyone has the budget for a four liter build, but it does go to show that the job can get done with a four cylinder. Very cool. It's a little cruise at 75 on the highways. Kevin, New Jersey. Also keep up the speed recovery. Thanks, brother. All right, let's take a gander. Very nice. Silver, of course, looks very nice. I like it. Very cool. Yeah, you really don't see, yeah, I don't see too many four cylinders kind of like souped up, which is kind of neat. But very cool. Dig the fenders. I like that look. You can fit a pretty big tire, obviously, with that type of fender setup. That looks neat. Like the front bumper. It's kind of cool. Um, looks like you got a winch on there. Very nice. You got LEDs. Very good. And it looks like you did the... Uh, Almost like what the YJs had, where the turn signal is like actually in the grill. Uh, that's cool as well. Uh, silver looks great. Soft top. I like that. Dig your wheels and tires. That looks fantastic. It's a little lifted for my liking, um, but definitely very capable. I mean, obviously. Um, rear tire carrier setup is very nice as well. That's very cool. But uh, yeah, I really don't think I would change a whole lot. Um, you kind of have it pretty much pretty well set up. Um, a four liter would be cool, obviously. Um, but the 2.5, like you're saying, is pretty reliable. So, and it's cool. I'd love to see your YJ too. Uh, you should send your YJ and I'd love to see that too. So, but, uh, yeah, but thanks for sending me your Jeep, bro. All right. We got James here. Hey Kyle. I love the videos. This is my own one Sahara. It has a four inch lift with 33s. I replaced the top, uh, to black and did some major front end upgrades. Hope you like it. Take a look. Very nice. White Sahara, probably my favorite. The green is cool, but the, the white looks great as well. Very nice. Love the wheels and tires. Those look fantastic. Uh, like, I like that look. Um, LEDs, very nice. And you blacked out the trim ring. That looks great as well. Um, I, lo I love the Sahara logos. Those are so cool. Um, very cool. I'm not a huge fan of the chains on there, but uh, that's just me. But... Uh, very cool. Otherwise, I like the front bumper. Um, wheels and tires, like I said, already look great. And the fenders. I like how small the, the actual flares are. That looks really neat. I don't know if you cut them. If you cut them, you did a really nice job cutting them. But uh, other than that, looks really cool. So that's pretty much all I really change is uh, just pull the chains off, I guess. <laughs> that would be just me. But uh, other than that, I really like the Jeep. Really clean. Saharas are always nice. And uh, white looks great, too. So, but yeah. Very cool. Thanks for sending me your Jeep, bro. All right, we got Ben here. Hey, Kyle, this is my own one 2.5 liter. Oh, we got another four, four banger, five speed. Very good. That I bought a couple months ago, and this is my first car. I bought it bone stock and have added lots of things since I've gotten it. Planning on getting a new paint job and new tires. Keep it through great bits. Well, thanks, dude. Let's take a look here. Very nice. Looks really clean. Black. Yeah, your paint looks really nice, actually. Very cool. Yeah. So things I would change. Um, definitely, you see this extra like ring that actually holds the headlight in. I would paint that black too. That way you kind of have like a whole blacked out look out front. But uh, yeah, wheels and tires would really kind of uh, change. You kind of bring it up a level for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, save up for those and eventually get some nice wheels and tires. Uh, BFG, the KO2s, those are really nice uh, tire for off-roading and street use it's an all-terrain so it's not you know super aggressive um or like a mud terrain obviously would look really nice as well but uh yeah a nice winch would look cool up front here um yeah but you already got the leds so you're already it's a great start that you have and uh maybe just some little bit bigger wheels and tires and as seeing as it's a four cylinder and if you don't feel like re-gearing or anything like that 
um, or if you have a you know weaker rear axle, um, you know you could do like on Project Four Banger, it's running like 32 inch tires. It was on 31s before; it's on 32s now, and it looks great. Um, it doesn't. You don't need to have like a crazy looking Jeep for it to be a really nice looking Jeep. So, you know, even a similar size to these wheels and tires, but maybe a little bit more aggressive style tire, like the KO2s or you know. Uh, something along those lines um, really make it look really good but uh, it, it's a great start really clean looking um, in the meantime before you get tires you could try plastic dipping your wheels black I think that would look really cool as well and uh, but yeah other than that very cool I like it I hope you're enjoying it well thanks for sending it in bro all right we'll do one more all right we got uh, Ricardo hey Gander hey Kyle love your content it really helped me with my Jeep very cool thanks bro here are some pictures a uh, bit of my Jeep. Recently added 33s, frost spacers, new fenders, headlights, added an amplifier and a subwoofer, and it really changes everything with the sound system. Thanks again. Hope your recovery is doing well. Thanks, bros. Take a look. Red. Great, great color. Very nice. I, I love the wheels and tires. It's like, the, it's like a classic, almost like Cherokee or Comanche wheel. I like that a lot. Tires look fantastic as well. Take a listen to this video here. Little walk around. Very nice. Very cool. All right, so things I would change on your Jeep. Um, love the wheels and tires, those those are great. Um, they would look pretty cool black as well, I would think, so if you wanted to maybe like plastic it them or paint them black, that would look really nice. I would pull off your bumper corner caps as well and just kind of give the stock bumper a little bit of a stubby look. Those look great. Um, I would paint your grill um, red, like the same color as your Jeep, or black. I would prefer red, but like if you can't get it paint match close or whatever, you could always do uh, black. But they do sell um, like touch-up paint you can get in aerosol cans. Um, that if you've you know done painting before, you could probably make that look pretty decent. But that would look uh, better, I think, than chrome. Uh, and then you want to black out those trim rings on there too. And uh, me personally, I would get some either just a different style flare or not so wide of a flare. So maybe like a stock style TJ where they're a little bit shorter, so your tires kind of poke out a little bit more uh, from the body, uh, you know, or poke out farther from the fenders. I think that would look really cool as well. Uh, pull off that side step and uh, maybe just refinish your rear bumper. You know, these are pretty faded, so you could always just maybe bedline the whole rear bumper and then bedline these plastics. I bedlined the plastics on Project 4 Banger and it actually turned out pretty decent. So that would be cool. And then if you're going to keep these things, uh, the, the tail light guards, I'd probably paint those black as well, maybe bedline, something like that. But uh, other than that, the Jeep looks really nice. I love the color. The tinted windows on the hardtop looks great. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, really cool Jeep. Looks like you got some rust issues on the uh, on the fenders. Project Four Banger had like the same exact area. Uh, I think water sits on the underside of there, and then it rusts from up and or from the bottom to the top. Um, but obviously, you could get some different fenders if you wanted to or repair those. But uh, but yeah. So anyway, guys, that's probably gonna do it for uh, episode sixteen. Uh, we'll pick up. Uh, on the next one um, so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please give the video a thumbs up uh, definitely consider subscribing that helps me out a bunch guys and uh, if you guys want to send in your jeep info.kyleswt at gmail.com with the subject rate my jeep and uh, we'll eventually get to yours so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and we hit 20k subscribers a couple days ago so i want to thank you guys for that and uh, if you guys want to show extra support youtube uh, has enabled memberships on my channel um, so you can join um, the membership, you get a little emblem uh, in the when you comment on stuff, and then I have a couple perks. You have access to some certain things in certain tiers. I think tier one's access to my Discord channel. Tier two, I believe, is like some backgrounds uh, for like your phone and your PC of uh, some of my the Jeep, the Cobra, and all that kind of stuff. And then the last one is uh, like Photoshop work. I figured. If any of you guys wanted like to see something Photoshop on your Jeep, like wheels or stuff like that, I would do like a Photoshop thing for you if you guys uh, choose that tier or whatever. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.